Shirts versus skins. All right. In an skins. ultimate ben. race of justice. Get it, you guys! Go, guys! Nice! 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 I'm excited for uh, to see those that are going to do the mile today. Hope that you guys uh, give your best shot, and why not, right? So uh, you know, see what you can do. Four laps as fast as you can. It should feel pretty short for the amount of running and races that we've done and the distance that we've done uh, throughout the year. Um, and yeah, I, I would. You know, my, my hopes are that today, that those aren't who are racing today, that they're jealous that they can't race today because they feel so ready and so good. Um, you know, hopefully you guys are feeling like you guys are revved up and ready to go. And, you know, all we have to do is just wait till the clock t ticks till the race starts. Um, but hopefully we can be at that point as soon as possible if you're not. Um, but yeah. The definition of cross country is going in a direction across fields or countryside as opposed to on roads or tracks. Cross country running is what some would say the most difficult sport of all. There are no timeouts, no half times, no stopping. Running, as some would say, is other sports punishments. It is a sport that can push the human body to its limit. It is a sport that will push the human body to keep running to the finish till it cannot breathe anymore. Any normal person would ask, why would you want to do anything like that? That answer is that this group of young people would. It's passion. We all have it. Liberty High School cross country team. This is the story of their unforgettable season. Liberty High School opened over 110 years ago in a town of Brentwood, California in its downtown area. For those of you who don't know where it is, it's about 55.2 miles away from San Francisco. The school is known for its motto, Pride Matters, which was created by the school's football coach, Jeff Walters. But this motto does not only apply to football, it applies to life. This is the H-Wing, a line of classrooms where the cross-country team meets. The team consists of kids in every grade, most being sophomores and seniors. The team is headed by former runner Eric Morford and newly appointed assistant coach Miss Danino. Uh, I'm Eric Morford. I'm the head coach of the Liberty Cross Country team. This is my third year doing it. Uh, completely enjoy it. Uh, I'm Kaylin Danino. I'm the assistant coach for cross country here at Liberty. Uh, I've been a part of cross country for now the last for, wow, uh, nine years, nine straight years, yeah. I started doing it to get in shape for another sport, basketball, and, uh, you know, I, I fell in love with the sport. Uh, you know, that was pretty much since day one, I knew I was gonna do it for the rest of the four years of high school. Um, and since that four years, it's been to college and then straight into coaching, so. I knew I always wanted to be a coach, but 
I didn't think I'd be a coach for maybe another 15 or 20 years just because all the coaches I saw were around 35 or 40 years old. So uh, I don't know, I found the opportunity to do it, you know, three years ago and uh, it was going to be pretty much a one year thing for me. Uh, but I liked it so much that I came back the next year and then after that I came back the next year. So, and uh, I plan on coming back next year. Uh, the team is very social, so they're easy to talk to, easy to relate to, just good group of students to get to know. Uh, my sister ran cross country in high school, so I was usually chasing after her during her races, so not used to, you know, the whole, oh, there's six races, okay, I guess I have to go over here for this one, go over here for that one, go back over there for that, and just repeating that, but definitely a good experience, it's fun. Cross country at first is cuz like my mom did it but then like after a while like I came and joined and there was many people on the team and I was kind of like discouraged at first but um, then coach Eric came and he made us like really feel like like the sport was important and like I don't know he just made it exciting and also like when I met, when I started talking to the people and like when we would like, when we would like practice together and everything, they're just very encouraging and very real. And like you can't really get that like anywhere else, so yeah. Well, personally, I've been doing cross country since sixth grade. Uh, I was racing the boys in fifth grade in uh, Garen, Garen Elementary School. And from there, I really just loved it. I really put my heart and soul into it ever since I was younger. She's my sister, so I kind of took after her footsteps, so yeah. <laughs> I joined cross country because of the social aspect and I wanted to be around all my friends and I wanted to push myself and to see if I could become a better athlete. Yeah, it's a very social atmosphere and everyone on the team is like a family and we do anything to support each other and I think it's a, friendships we'll have for a while. Well, I got into cross country because my friends were doing it and I thought it would be fun, a fun experience. I got into cross country because my brother did it and he seemed like he was having a lot of fun so I thought maybe I should try it out. I started cross country in seventh grade. In I used to live in Idaho so I actually, and I started running track in seventh grade and I wasn't very good but it was just a fun thing to do and then I moved to Brentwood in eighth grade and I started running cross country my eighth grade year and it was fun you know it was really interesting like I was like this is a fun sport like I'm gonna keep doing it and then I did it in high school but really like when I started it my freshman year it was really just to stay in conditioning for like basketball and then after a while I realized that if I kept working at it I could be really really good so I kind of dropped basketball and just devoted myself to running cross country yeah, I started running cross country because I had little to no friends. Pretty cool, right? No, when I was in, uh, I was really shy when I was in elementary school, you know, I didn't really have that many friends. And then when I got into middle school, you know, they had those little middle school races and whatever. And uh, I didn't do cross country my, my sixth grade year. I did it my seventh grade year, but I did it because I had so much fun doing track on my on my sixth grade year, you know. And then, you know, that that next year, I, I decided, hey, maybe I should do cross country. You know, I mean, that'd be pretty cool.
warm-ups are necessary to prepare the muscles before a race. A quick last laugh and a pep talk with the team, and finally getting mentally prepared with everyone. Workout Wednesday, Liberty Workout High School day. cross country. Starting with A skips, B skips, high knees, butt kickers, karaoke, side skips, toe bounces, and finally heel walks. It's a stressful and relaxing time before the race. You have your team, and that's all you need to get through till the gun goes off. How I would describe most practices? Well, first thing we do is we get in the room. Then about, I'd say, we, we start doing our push-ups and sit-ups, and then we sit there and listen to coach talk to us about, you know, trying to do better in our workouts, what we're doing for the day, for the day you know, that kind of jazz, only he never tells us the workout in the room, which, you know, depending on who you are, you like or you don't like, it's kind of cool like that. <laughs> and then, you know, you go outside, and when you go outside, I know this is my least favorite part, but warming up is the worst part of cross country, because you, you get out there, <laughs> And like, you just like, you're not feeling it because you, you haven't really done it for a day. So it's like, oh, I gotta run. But like, you know, once you get done with that warm up and, and the dynamics and stuff. And you're actually warm. And you're actually warm and you're about ready to do stuff. You actually feel really good about running, I'd say. <laughs> I remember my first race in sixth grade and it felt like death. <laughs> I, I just remember thinking like, why am I doing this? And then after it, it all pays off and I just, it's so much relief after and I really just fell in love with it in sixth grade. Uh, I was in sixth grade also and I remember racing with my best friend. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, my first race, geez, that was probably, it was kind of a shock to be honest, because uh, I wasn't really used to like going up hills because like in Brentwood it's all flat. So we kind of never really train on hills and our old coach would just tell us, okay, go out for a run and then come back in 15 minutes. So we didn't really, we didn't get that much training, but like it hurt kind of a lot when we were going up the hill and it was like, it was really, really hard to keep going. But afterwards I just felt so good. Like I wanted to keep doing it you know, and yeah. Well, my first race was at Lagoon Valley three years ago, and I thought it was pretty tough because of the big hills, And but overall, I did pretty good. My first race was two years ago at Monta Vista. I went in with no expectations, because I was like, never raced before, and I ended up doing pretty well. My first race was like really scary. I didn't know what to expect. I was kind of worried I was gonna disappoint everyone, like on the team and then I realized that we were all there to support each other and no matter how badly or how good we did on the race we we're all gonna be there for each other. Um, my first race I like really underestimated myself and set a goal time and it was really slow and then when I got way faster than my goal time I was like pleased with myself which boosted my confidence and helped with like the next race and I enjoyed it. It was a interesting experience. You know it I was nervous. I remember we were out at the uh, the bleachers, the small little bleachers over at the uh, at the field um, before you get to the track on the grass. And uh, you know, I was talking to about 35 of of you, and uh, just thinking inside my head, you know, I was just in those shoes, and you know, what are they going to think of me being so young? So I was nervous, and I was really nervous, but. Um, I, I knew going in, if I was just passionate about and just being myself, then I felt like you guys would respect me for that. I would describe running as, it's like, you know that there's going to be pain, and so it makes it harder to take each other step after that, but you just kind of have, you just know like in your head, like, what is it to me? I, I can totally do it, you know? I mean, that's. That's pretty much it, you know, running. Uh, 
putting one leg in front of the other and knowing it's yeah, yeah, it Get it, Afterwards, uh, it's hard. I would probably describe running as somewhere along the same lines as Bobby. It's, it's, you know that pain's gonna be there. More or less, you just have to find a way to keep going through that pain. Like, yeah. but I can. I think the one word I can use to describe running is. Oh, that's hard. There's so many words I can use to describe it, but work <laughs> work is a word i think the word fun I would... fun is a good way to describe running i mean like even though people don't see it like that right yeah but it's like when you run or at least when i run i get this feeling of like freedom because when i'm running i can go into those first couple miles and it'll be like even just going like on a long run 8 10 11 mile runs Oof. during season <laughs> you can start those first maybe two miles and it'll just be really just like you don't feel that good you kind of just kind of getting a feel for it and then after you kind of get past those couple of throwaway miles where you're just kind of like trying to get adjusted start kind of delving into that little bit of a high you know like the runner's high like they talk about and those are the moments that I definitely look for when I run because there are these moments for me of just like serenity I guess is a word I would use, but you get, you start getting into those phases of your run where you start just feeling like you're flying, you know, and those are really, that's really the best way I can describe running. It hurts, mm. but then at the end it's great. I like it. <laughs> I feel like I could go anywhere. I feel really free. Come to a point when you get tired and you're just like, I am done. <laughs> but yeah, it's. I get bored in class. It's like, okay, I want to go go out and run now. Let's go. Or you're just sitting in practice and someone's talking about something and you're just like, let's go. Yeah. Let's go out. That's true. Um, running, it, it can be a lot of things. Like for me, sometimes it's just like, it relieves my stress. Like, you know, I, a lot of times I like take a lot of challenging AP classes and I'm always like just like I have to do homework or I have to go here or here. But like cross country, like running itself just really forces me to like focus on like the pounding of my feet and like my breathing and really like takes my mind off of everything. And it's, it's really relaxing sometimes like just to be able to focus on like how much, like how hard you work because it's really, it's all about how much work you put in and it's, yeah, it's gonna hurt for a little while, but afterwards it's gonna feel great. Running? Um, cardio. <laughs> um, it's always been a struggle for me, so it's, it's still a struggle now, but it's getting better, but I, it's good, I guess, I like running. It's painful. It's mostly painful, but at the same time, it's relaxing on my mind. Yeah. Like I don't have to think during school, and it's a nice break between school instead of going home and straight doing homework. Yeah. It's relaxing, kind of freeing, puts you at ease, allows you to release some stress. I did. I would describe running as. Oh. It's very. It can be very difficult sometimes, but you just have to like pace yourself and just believe in yourself overall. I would describe it as freedom, getting to go wherever, whenever you want. It's kind of like a sport where you only need yourself to do it and it's like a stress reliever, therapy kind of. So, I mean, I like it. Pacific Tigers is one of the most lively of the meets Liberty goes to. Extreme spirit is a must and we do not disappoint. This is a fast, flat course that most athletes get their PR in. For some athletes, this is their favorite meet to go to, and it's become a great tradition to drive to Stockton for this race. It's different than how I thought it was going to be, um, in, in the essence of you know, how close I would be with, with uh, each one of you, um, just because I felt like in my past experience that I've had coaches that I was drawn away from or didn't feel connected to. Um, but, you know, it's funny, sometimes I feel, uh, you know, 
I feel like I shouldn't be going to all the spaghetti feeds and, and eating all of the food there, but I enjoy being with the athletes so much that, you know, any opportunity I have to hang out with you guys, it's, you know, it's, yeah, I feel like we're friends. I'm definitely working on my running in addition to seeing how everyone else is improving over the course of the season, seeing myself improve too, so that's, that's fun, and just being able to run with the students and get to know them and get some fresh air. The invitationals are, are fun. I think we're um, learning about, you know, how, how spirited we can be at each one, and uh, it's and it's been more fun each year that we've gone out to them and it's been more fun for me because I'm getting more used to being in that hectic atmosphere of having one race finishing and the next race starting and one race finishing and the next race starting. And, um, but uh, having a time schedule and the athletes sticking to it, you know, having more than just, you know, a couple leaders out there and a leader for every single squad that runs out there, it's, it makes it a lot easier and it makes those invitationals go a lot more smoothly. All right, so the way that we did this is pretty much, there was three parts of it. Uh, we, this was kind of the red one down here at the bottom, encouraged teammates to lead a run was kind of the, uh, the pre-comp goal, uh, maybe like where we'd hit it before uh, Pacific Tigers, and we'd work on that. And uh, we've, we've definitely, you know, went up, we've had ups and downs in that regard this year. And, um, you know, I'd say for the most part, we've, we've stayed together, but it's, some days we've had rough days and like we had to split up everybody yes, uh, two days ago for our recovery run. Um, but uh, yeah, the second one is separate good from the great. Um, I think we talked about that early last week, maybe like last Monday. Um, let's recap that real quick. So we'll remind ourselves what kind of action that we can take. Um, that can get us to that point at the end of the season. How are we gonna take action to put these words into play? Elliot? Uh, doing the little things, like, I guess the example would be like, yeah, you hear work done during the workouts and stuff, but really what separates the good from the greats is getting all the little things in between that done, like, like running with your teammates or like getting your proper like diet intake and water intake stuff done so that you're feeling it, your physical peak. I think that when uh, next Wednesday comes, it's Thursday. It's not gonna just be who's better prepared, it's gonna be who wants it the most on that day. And uh, whoever is willing to put themselves through the most pain is gonna end up winning that race. That's exactly, I mean. About that way a little bit. Even though the varsity girls didn't run at Pittsburgh, we could see how much pain and effort was given that afternoon. Though this course is difficult, it is cross country. No one ever said it was easy. It is a given that in the end, the glory is worth all the pain. Pittsburgh Hill. Coach said it best about that hill. That that hill is no joke. There's two of them there. I mean, like, why am I singling out one of them? That course is a disgrace to cross country. It is. It's demonic. It's calling them out. It is so bad that you can make varsity runners walk. All but two varsity boys walk, and all the varsity girls walk. That is how bad that course is. 
It is so bad that we can get somebody who usually breaks 16 minutes, get in like the 1840 second territory. Wait, what'd you get? I ran 1827 on yeah. that course. It's yeah. Pretty bad. It's nuts. I, I know I walked up the hill. <laughs> I know everybody behind me walked up the hill. <laughs> I mean, you know, and you know what the worst part was? Is that like, you're just, you're going up it and about halfway through, you're like, I'm only halfway through. I've been walking up this thing for a minute. It was just, it's so bad. And the worst part about that is that, you know, varsity boys, we run last at the, at the dual meets. So the worst part was is that we had to watch the girls do it beforehand and we're like, oh my gosh, this is just, this is just so bad. And now we have to do that? <laughs> that sucks, <laughs> you know? The girls, oh my gosh, they're my loves. <laughs> I love them all. They're, um, being a being part of just like the girl squad itself it's like it's so emotional because you you get so close to them and you spend all this time literally every day after school you see them and you you guys just share all these moments and you know of course everybody has inside jokes and everything and people just outside of cross country can't understand that and yeah we're weird we're kind of nerds because like that's just us, but you know, we accept everybody and the girls themselves, like they're very, uh, they're very good about showing each other how much they care. And we like, we love to like give gifts and like a lot of times we'll have sleepovers and <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's really cool because um, we, uh, we can get really, we can get really emotional with each other and then not judge each other, but it's it's just really it's really nice to have such like a close-knit group of sisters that you know are always going to be there even outside of cross country even just in school and it's a it's a really cool feeling it's we're, nice we're like a big family it honestly really is. yeah i think it really is like we just text all the time we're all in a group chat and we call each other and we hang out all the time we have team sleepovers and it's movie nights it's too it's really yeah we know each other really well I don't think there's really any girls who are like... Yeah, we don't have a no. problem with anyone. Not it's really. great. <laughs> I say we're pretty much like sisters. Like we're, we're so close. We tell each other everything. And, we're, and it's like we're close with everyone on the team, not just like certain people. It's everyone. Yeah. And there's like no division of groups. We're all blended and we all accept and appreciate and embrace one another. Oh god, that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, the girls, they're definitely different. It's cool because we're super close and we always have like fun sleepovers or movie nights and it's really fun to be a part of something so great. Um, being close to all the girls on the team is pretty cool because we get to have fun and we have good talks on the run and we can tell each other things. It's pretty fun having close like sisters. Sisters, sure. yeah. I love it. It's so it's so nice. Honestly, I'm glad that you're with us and it's so, I'm glad I'm spending my last year with you. Yeah, it is fun. You can totally tell the difference between our, how good she is. And or at least like, our running styles. Like I go out a little slower and you kind of like say like momentum the same, the same thing and then like speed up at the end. That's, that's what true. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I like it. It doesn't bother <laughs> me. We don't really fight that often, so. No, we don't. Yeah. We're good. Well, she usually gets mad at me for cutting her off, which I don't. But other than that, it's pretty great. I think it's fun. We're gonna have great times together. Complain together. That's true. Laugh together. Cry together. Cry together. It, it, Be even more family. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's a blast. So that way you guys can fit in this area. Well, we're doing the chair. You guys can sit down. Okay. Deep breaths. Fun doing it. You don't really love it. Uh, you're going to give up. The separation of talent and skill is talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. BVAL stands for Bay Valley Athletic League. 
It's a chance for all of the cross country teams to come together for one more race to determine who is the league champs. This course entails hills and a tight turn, but Liberty is ready for it. This is our generation and our legacy to uphold. we didn't get everything we wanted from it but uh, to be honest I, I, I don't know how much better we could have done um, and I'm sure that everybody thinks that they can do better but for the most part I felt like everybody gave it their best effort uh, whether results came or not but um, you know we you know sometimes you just have to take a step back and just realize you know that we've got we've got it pretty good here you put yourself in other team shoes um, you know, the only other team that won a race there was Heritage, and it was one race. We won the other five of them. No other school won an individual race or anything like that, so um, you can't complain too much about that. But, you know, it's not just about that. It's about, you know, the performances by each individual. So, yeah, I, I you know, I'm proud of everybody from, from the quality of everybody's seasons, and uh, you guys worked hard for that. Um, I want you guys to think about why you're going to do this because I know our goal is to go to state. Um, like for me personally, I'm going to put why us, like I'm going to write why us and then tie it myself so you're find that I'm going to do this for us and for all of us because, um, this is like my last year and I'm probably going to cry. We all know I'm going to cry at the end. Um, but I don't, please don't make me cry because I'm sad. Because I, honestly, I'll be okay like, with, from the video, I thought about it. If, if we get third, I will be content, I will be happy because this is my last race running cross country with you guys. This will be my last race running cross country three mile with you. Just kind of sink that in. <laughs> um, <I'm crying. laughs> um, I'm gonna do for myself. I'm gonna do it for you guys. I'm gonna do it for the books to say that, oh, our class of 2015 cross country girls, we made a state. And I don't think it's ever been done before. Has it been done before? No, it's never been done. How cool would that be? It's you guys. But then again, if we get third, 
I, I will be happy. I don't want us to cry because we got third. Do you know how many teams there are in NCS? 19. It's 8, 19, 18, whatever. It's, it's amazing that we're even in the top five. It really is. Some girls don't get to have that in their lives or in their whole high school career. It's, it's really amazing what we have. And you think about it like, oh yeah, we gotta think about Amador Valley, but honestly, I think we're fine. And you gotta think about San Ramon. Those girls are used to it. If they get in, yeah, they'll be happy. But we'll be 10 times more happier. It'll mean so much more to us. And we earned it. We come here every single day. And we deserve it. Every single one of you. What makes you deserve it? Because, yeah, we are similar. We go to practice every single day. We probably buy the same brand of shoes as they do. Wear the same stuff. Yeah, we all wear Mount Sac stuff. Or we all get our, our little Pacific shirts. It's... But we are so much different from them. And that's what makes us, us. And you gotta think, why? Why are we different? So I'm gonna write, why us? Because I believe that we are different in all the best ways. I believe that we, are, we deserve it. And I believe that we can do it. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> And see us after, right after I see you guys. After I cross the finish line, I'll wait for you guys. After the shoot, I'll hug every single one of you and everyone who comes out and watches it. But I'm, I'm going to walk away happy and proud that I ran with you. So thank you. And <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> but no matter what happens, I don't want to cry because we're sad. It's all gonna be okay. At the end of the both girls and boys races, the boys qualified for state, placing second in their Division I race. The girls placed third in their Division I race. Liberty made history that day in both teams. It is an amazing accomplishment, and the family couldn't be prouder. I'm going to take this like I'm never going to have this experience again. I'm kind of shocked. My ankle hurts. Oh, no. No, I'm going to You did it. Surprise, delayed. I don't know. So, this is unreal. I I didn't expect that. How you feel right now? Dude, I feel like, like, the coach said, it's, just, it's like a dream, man. It's, just, it's awesome! I couldn't believe it, but I knew we were capable of it. And when I heard the news, I was in the bathroom with Ben. So we thought it was a joke at first, until Elliot came in to tell us again. And we were just like, is this actually true? He came in, saw the news, heard, and we were like, let's go. I feel like a freaking baller. This is. <laughs> didn't see this coming. <laughs> Did not see this coming. This is. <laughs> we made it. Nice. Liberty Lines. We're making it to state. For the, and I'm a freshman. This is my first time making it to state. For real. Lines Liberty, like Ben said. You know, we're always going to do better. And I can't wait to make it to state. Alright, our second place team today, going on to the state championships, 141 points, Liberty High School.
state championships is a great thing to be a part of. The boys deserved it, and the girls did a great job this season. On both gender sides, this season will go down in history. Liberty High School's 2015 cross country team came so far and accomplished so much in one season. No doubt they were the underdogs, but they sure made a big statement everywhere they went. From friends to family, we are Lions. Um, I love my team. I'm happy to spend this last year with you guys, and my experience with Liberty has been more than amazing. I've gone from coach to coach, and uh, so many ups and downs, but I, I'm really grateful for this experience, and I'm, I'm so glad that I did this in high school. I just want to say, being here for four years, I want you all to know whether you are running this season, uh, haven't ran this season yet, you know, you're not even a freshman yet in this school, but just know that you're part of the, in my opinion, which I know is very biased, but in my opinion, the best cross country program ever of all time. And um, I wanna thank every one of you guys for coming out here every day and running, and sporting Liberty Pride and cheering us on in our races. And I want you all to know that I love every each and every one of you guys. You guys have really made my four years here at Liberty an incredibly enjoyable time, so. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> that was so cheesy. Um, you guys are a great inspiration, and I'm so glad to be a part of something so bigger than life, and we could change the world. Um, I love everybody on the team. They're super funny, and it's just amazing how close we can become. Thanks. Love you guys. Damn it, that was mine. I love you. <laughs> could you cut out the part where I said damn it? Nope. Nope. Don't. <laughs> yeah, and you ruined my... Love you guys. I ruined your microphone. I love you all, and I'm so thankful for all the memories that you have given me. I broke it. And my BFF, Alec. Alec, we should interview you. Can we oh, can you? we interview you? No. Alex, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. We love you, and we're so thankful. For cut, wait, hold on. Alec, cut that part out. That sounded so fake. Hold on. <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> you can make us. We love you. <laughs> I hate you. Why are you so mean to me? Love you guys. So thankful to have you guys as my teammates. That was pretty fake too. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Oh my God, it, was. it was so legit the first time and the Megan goes, damn it, Lauren, and ruined it. We love you guys and we're so thankful for all the memories that you've given us and these are things that are gonna last forever and we're never ever gonna forget each and every single one of you. And we love you. That, that, this is my thing. But then why did you do it? You did this. No surprise here that she's in her fourth year right now. She's doing incredible in the sport of cross country and I look forward to her track season. Um, but uh, she has a lot of teammates in this room and it means a lot for you guys to be here for, for her as well. Um, but that's part of our program that we try and strive for is just having that camaraderie. Uh, and uh, I'm hoping that most of all she can bring that, uh, her leadership uh, to college. <laughs> Signing your life away. That's all. <laughs> Signing your bank account away. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I shall say thank you to everyone that came and supported me throughout these four years of cross country and track and field, especially my coaches over there. Um, and also, like all my teammates, thank you so much for actually coming. Uh, see you at practice today. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right, good job.